Welcome. Today we're going to be continuing on with the theme of how to improve your artistic eyesight and if you haven't watched my last video I encourage you to do that and um, we're going to diverge a little bit from what was covered in the video. It will be a sketching activity but a timed one and doing timed sketching activities can help you to hone in on the main shapes, the main details and not get bogged down in, in the finer stuff. Uh, which is all good and well for a polished drawing, but if you're just wanting to do sketching activities, then sometimes it can hold you back and uh, sort of you get stuck in a rut with things. Uh, so, yeah, doing a quick sketch with the, setting a timer can be a really helpful uh, exercise for us to do. So you can choose what medium you want to use today. I'll be using a fine liner and just an A4 bit of paper. If you've got a sketchbook, grab that. Um, you could use um, pen, pencil, markers, uh, even pastels or charcoal, basically anything you want to, ink and brush. So I'll leave that up to you and I'll catch you in a moment. You can see I've brought in a dahlia from my garden and uh, this is a yellow variety that I grew from seed uh, about a year ago. But I think this is the first time this one's flowered for me. And uh, when the little bits in the middle are fully open, they're a brilliant orange, but the other ones were a bit worse for wear, so I brought this one in. And um, I've set my timer for five minutes. And I'm trying not to sneeze, so I hope that's not the dahlia <laughs> setting that off. It is a very windy day as well, and I've had the dryer going, so who knows what it could be. Anyway, uh, so setting the timer for five minutes means that I'm not going to be able to spend anywhere near the amount of time I would on one of my drawings normally. And I honestly don't know how much I'm going to be able to get done on the drawing within that time. But that's the idea. So me being a perfectionist, uh, using a timer is actually going to help me to do a, a quick sketch and not get bogged down uh, with all the details and turn it into a, a really finely detailed drawing like I usually would. So there's always a temptation to just keep going until you get everything just like you want it. But setting a timer basically means you are agreeing to stop at a certain time and that's it. So I've got the, the timer set up on my computer. So I shall just press start. Oh, and actually, before I press start, I'm using a 0.5 fine liner because uh, I want to, I want the lines to stand out. You, for this kind of activity, it's kind of fun to use something that's a bit thicker so that you're focusing on the line work because you're not going to get as much shading and things done. So if you've got a, a thicker fine liner or even just a pencil, grey lead pencil or something, or you could do this with a brush and ink or something. Really, you could use a whole variety of mediums or media for this, so but that's what I'm using. All right, let's begin. Okay, so time is going. I'm going to pop a loose, light, sketchy circle in the middle there, and I'm going to start to pop in key petals that I notice. And I'm not going to stress if some bits don't get included or if, it, if I get some bits in the wrong position. I'm just going to keep going. And uh, look around for some of the other main shapes quickly. All right, four and a half minutes. Um, I think another one there. So it's really forcing me to keep looking a lot. Flower. Not spending as much time looking at my actual drawing. So far, I think it looks like a dahlia. Right, there's a weird 
wide pedal going off to the side there. And there's a gap, there's a little bobbly thing there. And yoink, yoink. <laughs> I'll be struck, stuck for words. <laughs> Just use a yoink. Uh, some little curvy ones down there. So you're seeing a lot of beautiful line work here. Or at least the beautiful lines of the flower showing through. Uh, what's happening down there? It comes out a fair way. Okay, I've got three and a half minutes. I think I'm on track. Should be like that. And there's another similar one that comes out here. And a bit of a line there. There's another one going behind there. All right, I need to come back around here and see what's happening. Sometimes you sort of forget exactly where you are or where you were with different shapes. Let's come out. There's a side one. There's one going down here. All right, I've got two minutes 48. So it's stopping me from being too precious about what I'm drawing, focusing on just the main bits. Um, okay, I feel like that bob, the round bit should be down a bit lower. I'm just going to quickly stick in some extra bits to balance it out. Bit of artistic license there, and another bit down there, and I'm going to stick another bit there. All right, and something over here. All right, that works well. I've still got two minutes, and so now I'm going to pop in some of these little things. So as an artist, you do have the license to um, alter things a bit, generally speaking. If you think, um, oh, it's not looking very balanced or something, or you've just put something in slightly the, the wrong spot, or these were too short or whatever, you can um, you can adjust things a bit so that the artwork at the end of the day works better. All right, so a few more little of those round bobbly bits, little petals, and stem right here, and the leaf. I'll, I'll move that leaf over a bit. Should have left a gap there. Okay, I've got a minute. Not sure if I'll get any shading done. It might just be a line drawing. And a couple more leaves. There's another leaf. I'll pop in some little lines there. I might do just a little bit of shading there. And about 30 seconds, so I'm going to pop in some extra lines and things, tiny bits of shading in there. Obviously, if I'm talking, so that's distracting me a bit. If you weren't talking, you'd be able to probably get a little bit more done than I am. All right, 15 seconds. <laughs> All right, what are the key bits I want to put in? A bit of shadow there. Shadow there, five seconds, and I need to stop. <laughs> All right, now how do I turn it off? Click. Oh, it's still there. <laughs> All right, I think I killed it. Okay, so there you can see my five minute sketch of a dahlia, and I'm not allowed to do anything else to it. I can stick it in a frame, I can stick it in the bin, I can give it to a friend, I can stick it on the fridge, um, but I'm not allowed to do anything else to it. Okay. That said, if you wanted to, if you were using like a permanent pen that you can paint over, you could just do a quick wash with some colour on top of it later. But maybe even then set a timer for the colour bit and say, okay, I'm only going to have another five minutes to put some colour on. Otherwise, you'll have the same problem of being too pedantic. 
So there is my dahlia. I'll just pop in here again. Glad I spelt it correctly. All right. So try it out. You don't have to do a flower. You could just find a vase or a, a mug, a um, bunch of leaves, anything really. Could even be just you've got your hand next to you and you're drawing your hand. Uh, you could draw your friend's sandwich. Um, yeah, so really, it's up to you. And you don't need to stick to the five minutes. You could decide to do a 10 minute time drawing or even try one minute and see what happens. See how much you can get in then. Um, and yeah, try a bunch of different ones. And just, yeah. See what, see how you feel. Um, it'll be a good way to just loosen up your um, your usual way of doing things and help you to learn to look at things, looking for the main shapes as we mentioned earlier, and um, being less precious about things. And if you're doing this kind of thing in a sketchbook, it's really helpful so that you're not spending too long in it, but you are actually just sketching instead of doing really fine drawings and things. So yeah, I'd be interested to hear um, how you go with that. Feel free to let me know in the comment section or you can email me through my website. Hope you like the video. Please remember to click the like button if you enjoyed this and subscribe if you haven't. And also check out my website for updates on things and to see my latest artworks, check out my Zazzle store as well. And remember, I do have a new Facebook page, uh, which is called Robert Kingdom Art. So anyone in the general public can follow me on that. So hope you enjoy your quick sketch, uh, quick sketches. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time.